Hi Pisces, welcome back to my space. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Raquel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for all your subscribes, all your shares, I greatly appreciate it. I am so sorry that it's been a while since I've been on here. I did upload videos on Thursday. I meant to upload videos yesterday on Friday, but my energy sources were low on Friday. So um, when they are low like that, I do not like to give readings because I feel like I can't accurately give readings when my energy sources are low. So when they're, you know, instead of wasting your time and my time, I didn't put out any videos yesterday. I do feel better today and I am getting back into it. So this is your reading. This, this will be for the last two weeks of November 2019. Okay. And as I was getting into your energy, Pisces, I heard, no, don't go there. And then I heard, get at it. So <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Spirits. My guides, what is going on for Pisces for the end of November? The most needed messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the last two weeks of November 2019. Please and thank you, my soul family. My guys. Painting the roses red, covering up errors. Okay, now these energies can be can go either way. You could be dealing with somebody that is covering up mistakes that they've made and it's like you don't know they've made these mistakes but they've made them um for others of you out there you could be covering up your own mistakes like i said these energies can play out either way um you know with the don't go there and get at it i feel like that is saying and then this came out so it's saying don't cover it up expose it okay Get at it. Stand up. Stand up for your responsibility. Okay. Or it's it's saying, you know, this person that's that's hiding their mistakes. It's not worth getting at them. It's not worth um, going for it. Get at something else. Okay. So there's two meanings there. All right. So let's consult the tarot, and the tarot will tell us more about what's going on with you for the last two weeks of November. So spirit, my soul family, what's going on with Pisces? Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November 2019. Please and thank you, my soul family. I also heard you got to give it your all. So some of you might need, might be lacking motivation. Maybe you're covering up the motivation that you're lacking. But whatever this project or thing that you're get the situation that you're into, you're unmotivated and it's saying don't do that. Um, you need to give it your all. You need to get at it. You need to give it your all. I feel like for some of you, um, you haven't um, been going hard with it. And because you haven't been going hard with it, there might have been some mistakes along the way that you're trying to cover up. Um, and that'll just uh, put you back. I'm also seeing a, a cat. I'm seeing cats. So uh, for some of you out there, a cat is very significant. I feel like, um, or somebody with like cat-like behavior, I know that sounds really weird, but if you think about it, cats are very independent. They um, want to be loved when they want to be loved. So it could be, you could be dealing with somebody who wants to be loved when they want to be loved. And it's like they don't pay attention to you. Um, and it might be that you're covering up for this person. Like, you know, people are telling you not to be with this person because they're like that. And they're like, oh, no, they're not really like that. You know, they do, this, they do that. You need to stop making excuses, okay, and covering that up. 
you need to go for something else. You need to put more motivation, more drive into something else is what I'm hearing for some of you. All right, one more shuffle, and then I'll cut for you. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I, I, you know, I do, I go, I try to make these videos short, but when I get downloads, when I get downloads, I speak them. All right, so this is all right, so you're in this Queen of Swords like um, energy for the last two weeks of November. You're not taking any bullshit from anybody. You're really getting at what you need to get at. You're really doing what you need to do. So um, I feel like you're not, I feel like there is somebody in your environment, Pisces, that is covering up all of their mistakes. There are, they might be lying to you. They might be feeding you some BS. Um, and it's like the last two weeks of November, it's like, nope, I call you on your bullshit. Now you could be dealing with a Libra. It could be a Libra or another air sign. Uh, the queen of swords is a Libra card, or you could be embodying that Libra like energy here. Um, but either way, you're not, you're not putting up bullshit. All right. Like I said, these energies can be reversed and, um, I, I do see you're going um, full steam ahead. Uh, you're taking a bold, brave leap on a new project that's going to be that's going to make your wheel turn. It's going to be very fulfilling for you. You might have to um, collaborate with a couple of people here um, to help you get this done or get this project on um, up on the you know get it going. All right, so the beginning of the week. We have, or the beginning of the first two weeks, we have the Three of Cups. So this is celebration. This is networking. This is um, having a good time. Maybe going to a social event where you're, um, where you're actually putting yourself out there uh, with this new situation or this new endeavor that you're going on. I do see a lot of celebration here. In the middle of the last two weeks, we've got the High Priestess. So your intuition is going to be on point in between the last two weeks of November. It's like you're, and for some, for a lot of you, I'm getting the dreams thing because you are the 12th house and the 12th house is what is hidden. It rules dreams. Pisces, you are a very intuitive person. You're the most intuitive out of, um, out of the whole Zodiac. Okay. You can really, and because you're like that, it's like you see the world through different through different eyes. Okay. So, um, really tap into your dreams, pay attention to your dreams within the last two weeks of November. We've got the Knight of swords. So this is new communication, new information coming in. Um, it could be, uh, for some of you, it could be a job promotion, but I feel like this is you getting new information about the person that is covering up their mistakes, okay? This is you really listening to your intuition. Um, what is influencing the Three of Cups is the Page of Wands. Yeah, so this is you wanting to move forward, you wanting to celebrate, you wanting to um, get your creative endeavor going. For some of you, um, I'm getting party planning. I'm hearing uh, some of you Pisces out there might be really into party planning and getting um, have uh, doing a party planning business is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing party planning. So you need you're being encouraged to get at that. That's where you're supposed to go. Um, what's influencing the high priestess is the ace of pentacles. So yeah, this is I feel like you're going to be getting um intuitive hits through your dreams on how to um pro procure <laughs> this new beginning and um what is tangible. I feel like some of you are starting a business here. Um, because we do have the pentacles right there. What's influencing the Knight of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, some new information or some new communication is coming in um, around the end of November. This also could be um, a Gemini that you are uh, maybe going into business with or some type of um, your wheel is turning with a Gemini. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of air sign here, so you might be dealing with an air sign. 
Um, but whatever this, the case may be here, it could be that you're in that air-like energy. You're ready to go forward. You're ready to communicate. You're ready to put yourself out there to the world. And because of that, your um, wheel is turning here. Okay. All right. So let's get some clarifiers for this. Hold on a second. I know a little more once I get some clarifiers. All right. So spirit. My soul family, what is this about for Gemini or not Gemini? I just said Gemini. So you could, be, and there is air on here. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, I feel like maybe some of you might be uh, collaborating with the Gemini. And that is a good person to collaborate with creativity wise, because um, they're very creative. Geminis are very creative and they have a good sense of business. So um yeah, some of you are collaborating with the Gemini, and that's good. You know, this is your entrepreneurial, your project, and you're just getting advice from it. All right, so spirits, my soul family. How do these four energies here connect for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November. Please and thank you, my friend. And that is a lot. And for those of you who don't know my reading style, when a lot of cards pop out at me at once and I'm not feeling any of them, I put them back in the deck because I only take the cards that I feel like I'm supposed to take. All right. So let's see what we get here. All right. So that one came out. What do we got? We got the full. Yeah. You leaping in, you jumping in to this new endeavor here. Um, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have maybe two or three people help you out with this. Um, and you're really taking a leap of faith. You're really jumping into it. Um, if I read it like this, yeah, this is this is you going brave, bravely forth, trusting your intuition and doing what it is that you feel like you need to do here. Um, be careful. Don't cover up any mistakes. You know, mistakes when they're made, it's usually because something better comes out of it. So um, sometimes you have to make those mistakes in order to level up, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm saying here. All right, so let's see how these four energies connect for you. Pisces. How do these four energies connect for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November. Please and thank you, my spirit. You know, this is a really good reading. Oh, wow. Three of Wands. Yeah, putting in forth effort, putting in a lot of effort, um, making your dreams happen, making your dreams go forth. Um, you know, I have been seeing 333, three, three, so some of you might want to look up 333. Because when I did flip over the end of the deck, I did uh, find the Three of Pentacles as well. So that's like collaboration. Uh, so you might want to look up 33. Also, we have the we have the High Priestess. You might want to look up 22. And 11. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah, this is you putting more effort in you going forward. Um, and because of that, because you're really listening to your intuition and you're listening to the information that's coming in, your wheel is turning here and it's turning for the better. Just make sure you're not covering up any of your mistakes. Make sure you're not glossing over any facts. OK, um, really uh, dive into the information that's being given to you here. All right. Let's get some advice for you, Pisces. I'm sorry, my husband's going to the store. <laughs> His truck is really loud. I apologize. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like shaking. <laughs> sorry about that. It's like an earthquake. <laughs> All right. After that earthquake is gone. <laughs> All right, so spirit, hold on, it's going to take me a minute to connect my energy now. Okay. 
<clears throat> Spirits, my soul family, what advice do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks of November. Okay, so we've got Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. This is a new beginning for you. You are going forth. You are um, putting your talents to work. Like I said, the download that I got was get at them, get going, okay? And I also heard don't go there. And I feel like when they say don't go there, it's like don't cover up your mistakes. Embrace your mistakes because that will um, help you move forward. Trust that you are talented and whatever endeavor you're starting right now is going to pay off for you. We also got the trader exchange energy to create abundance. Okay. So this is people helping you. You know, if they help you, you help them back. The more that we're grateful for what we have, we're grateful for our talents. The more that we help others when they have helped us, the more abundant we feel, which we, which you have more abundance, which attracts more abundance. It's the laws of attraction. So, um, yeah, Pisces, that's what I'm getting for you. It's a good new beginning for you. Uh, whatever creative projects you got going on, um, really go for them, get at them. You know, spirit is like saying they want to help you here. All right. They want you to do this. They want you to collaborate with a couple people though. Um, I do feel like you are going to be collaborating with a bunch of people and you need to trust your intuition, trust your intuition, um, for the last uh, two weeks of November. All right, Pisces. Well, thank you so much for watching. That's all of the downloads and all I got for you today. Um, for those of you who liked this video, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. As soon as I get to a thousand, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a lot of things and free and, and readings. I'm going to be giving away readings as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell is wiggling to notify you when I put up that video for the giveaway. All right. I will see you in the next video, Pisces. I hope you have an amazing last two weeks of November. Bye.